Damn, where is that pause button? Shit, I guess this will have to be a part two. No, I do. Yeah. Well, where I came from last time, we left you off. Lie. You can lie. You can say, I lied. I am taking out the book. This is on. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my book. My wife would like to show you her book. Let me shut this off. There you go. Which is Witchcraft and Wicca? Encyclopedia. The Encyclopedia. So if anybody got any questions, besides the fact that she has many, 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 many years of experience. And by the way, she's pagan. I'm Gnostic. No, I didn't say I'm nasty. You are. I'm a nasty old man, but I'm Gnostic. And you will find that most of you spiritualistic people are Gnostic. And if you don't know what it is, look it up. Because Gnosticism and Paganism were around for thousands of years before Jesus was dropped on this earth. Anyway, back to spiritualism. I believe in a higher power. And I believe this higher power endows all of us with itself. In other words, we are part of the higher power. If we judge, we judge ourselves. If we condemn, we condemn ourselves. There is yin-yang in the higher power. There is good, there is evil. I myself prefer to dabble in the arts of good. But, the point being, spirituality has a basis in not organized religion. But something that came long before organized religion. Such things as Gnosticism, Paganism. I don't know the last time my higher power asked me to go ahead and sacrifice anything to anybody or anything. See, my higher power says, oh, if you want to sacrifice, go ahead. But that's your choice. But what I would like you to sacrifice would be a meal to a homeless, to a shirt, to a shirtless. Give something to somebody. Like I wrote up there in posts, I said, you know what? Hey, you. Yeah, you. The one eating the pancakes and sausage. Yeah, you. That's the one, yeah. Hey, guess what? Why don't you have that to go and go give it to somebody on the street because you're going to have the same goddamn thing tomorrow, ain't you? One meal wouldn't hurt you. I don't care how skinny you are, you, how fat you are or whatever. It don't make no damn difference. That wasn't taken too nicely. Then everybody's got to attack, 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 because they don't want to give. They don't want to give. They don't want to give. Well, here's my idea of spirituality slash Gnosticism. I gotta walk away again because my cigarette died. Oh, I just hate leaving you people. Oh, never mind. My wife said she's gonna get me a light. It's very important that I am comfortable. If I am not comfortable, then I'm not gonna tell you what I think. And if I'm not gonna tell you what I'm thinking, 
then you're never going to hear it. And if you're never going to hear it, you're never going to get the chance to say, I don't give a shit. They don't, people don't understand, right? Everybody, Anybody out there that's spiritual will understand my words. There is no heaven. There is no hell. Oh, there's a God, and he's an asshole. There ain't no Satan. Hey, look at why the hell would we need a Satan when we got a God that does all this kind of crap? Kills people left and right. Just because what? They don't do what he says. Great father to have. Everyone ought to have one. If it was up to me and I ascended, I'd kick his royal friggin' butt. But then again, I have not ascended and I probably will not ascend. Because there's too much to do here on earth. Like talking to use people. Like trying to change the world. One second at a time. One moment at a time. One sandwich at a time. One shirt at a time. One night in your home sheltered for a time. One aspirin. One medication at a time. All these things that God doesn't give his people so that they may help. But the spiritual do. The spiritual bend over backwards. The spiritual change their whole life to help somebody because they feel a part of it. And they are. Because all those out there that are spiritual know what I'm talking about. And you know what? We're going to have a holy war. But it's not going to be holy. See, because in order to have a holy war, you have to have two people who believe in holy shit. And holy shit, the only ones I know that believe in anything are the Christians, the Catholics, the Methodists, the Lutherans, the organized religions, the spiritualists, we're not holy. We just believe that we are one. That the world is one. That a plant is part of us. That a tree, that the grass, that a duck, that a feather. Everything is part of us. Now you may call me crazy. But I just want to say in closing to you spiritualists and I don't mean spiritualists in a term that you see things in the dark or they go bump and all that other shit. I'm talking about people who believe that we can make our way out of this because we are together. I would be happy for your comments. Pro and con. Because, hey, what the hell do I know? I used to preach the Bible. Can't know too much. Consider myself spiritual, not holy. So, please feel free to leave your comments and your posts and quotes and whatever. And I will be happy to look them over. And nobody ever gets denied the right to their free speech. And... <laughs> 
<laughs> Caught you off guard there, didn't it? May your higher power go with you. And this time I hope I'm out of here.